Hi guys, I wanted to let you guys know what I did with my ore after all of those farming runs. Now the herbs had originally been selling uh, just raw, however now that my character is or my main character fate is 110, I'm using it to make potions to create obliterum to sell. So that's all for the for the herbs, but what am I doing with the ore? There's something that you guys should know about jewel crafting, which isn't immediately apparent, but I think is super important to know, and so I wanted to talk to you guys about it, and about that is gem chips. Now, these gem chips, they're white, so that means they're used for something, right? They're used for a cooking recipe, because what everyone wants in their food is rocks. It just tastes like blood. Um, but they're ac they actually have another hidden use, which is what we're going to talk about today. Now, of course, as we know, when we're prospecting laystone, we have a very small chance to get the green and blue quality gems. Uh, according to Auctioneer, we got a 4% chance to get a green quality gem and a, about a 1% chance to get a blue quality gem. Fell slate is higher. We've got a 15% chance to get a green quality gem and a 2.5% chance to get a, a blue quality gem. I'm not sure how accurate that is, but the bottom line is we do know that fell slate is more likely to give us uh, gems. So how do we use this to make to be able to get the gems we want because unlike in previous expansions we um we don't just get gems every single prospect we can get junk over and over again gems are actually fairly rare even the uncommon ones are in a way rare and so what we're going to do is we're going to talk about some gem chips today i'm going to start by prospecting some laystone here and we'll see what we get okay we got some deep amber that was nice and then and you'll notice that the the chip was orange there so let's see here. Okay, so here you'll notice, despite all these white gem thumbnails in my bags, this is an orange gem chip. What this indicates is that the next gem that I get, the next uncommon or rare gem that I get, will be orange. And so now I ask myself, do I want more orange gems? And while I could definitely use some Eyes of Prophecy, I have so many Deep Amber that I don't want an orange gem. So rather than prospect the more valuable Fell Slate, I'm going to prospect Laystone Ore until I can wipe that orange off of my, off of the top of the stack for you Magic players. Is that what they called it? I haven't played Magic in years. I was more of an L5R player myself. Let's see here. As you can see, gems are not particularly common in this expansion, at least not yet. I wonder if they're going to change that. Then again, you don't have nearly as much of a need for gems as you once did. A lot of the professions have... Okay, so here we've got our gem. We've got a deep amber, and you'll notice there's still an orange gem chip. From what I can tell, that chip is rolled before the gem is. So we're actually not going to see what our next gem will be until we prospect again. Hopefully it's not orange. Okay, purple, though of course that purple was indicating we were about to get a purple, which we did. So we're going to go again. Yellow. Okay, I could actually use some Asinite, and I could certainly use the rare quality. So rather than prospecting the Laystone Ore, we're going to prospect Fell Slate, because we're more likely to get a gem from this. Basically, this technique makes sure that you don't waste your Fell Slate. Unfortunately, it looks like I'm not having the best runs of things, but at the end of the day, I'm prospecting the Fell Slate. There's three Asinite right there. Um, I'm making sure that my Fell Slate prospects are being used on gems that I actually want. Now, uh, the red gems, I actually do want some red gems, so I'm going to keep going for the fell slate. There's five Sangrite. Because I knew that a red one was coming up, it was more vi valuable to prospect the fell slate. And so now I don't know what's coming up, so we're gonna go for the laystone. Orange, we don't want orange, so we're going back to the laystone until that orange gets cleared by, oh, hey, I did get an eye of prophecy, nice. Okay, once again, we don't know what we got because that gem chip was going to predict orange. Yellow, so our next will be yellow. And I don't know if you can hear my dog shaking in the background, sorry about that. So we're going to go back to the fell slate because I could still use some more asinite. And basically, this was kind of the point of the video, is gems right now, because as you can see, they're quite rare to actually get, are fairly profitable. But unfortunately, if you're like me, you end up, you might have ended up with a lot of a certain color and none of the other. And so by doing this and looking at these gem chips and using that prediction of your next gem, you can make sure that you get a wide variety or just be more efficient in trying to prospect for gems for your own gear. So I hope that helped you guys out. Uh, it helped me make a lot more gold than I would have had I just been mindlessly prospecting. And I think this is a really interesting use of gem chips, and I'm surprised that it's not more, uh, more clearly stated to the players. So I wanted to make sure you guys knew about it. 
Uh, as always, please like, comment, or subscribe if it helped you out. Um, I will be putting out more videos as I come up with more interesting gold-making information for to, to share with you guys. Have a great day.